Hey guys, Pixel Dan here. Now, I know I'm a little late with this one. I know it's been out for a while, but it's something that I just got for Christmas that I absolutely love, and I just had to do a video on it. And if you remember, a little while back, I did a video on its, its older brother. So now we're going to take a look at the newest large-scale vehicle from the Star Wars line, the big AT-AT Walker. How amazing is this thing? I'm going to show you how amazing this thing is. Because seriously, this is one of the coolest toys I have ever owned. Probably my favorite thing that came out in 2010, and definitely one of the coolest things I own in my collection. I'm going to show you exactly why I think that way. So first, look at the scale of this thing. I mean, this thing is freaking massive. I'm sitting on the floor, Indian style, and this thing comes up to my head, okay? It is two and a half feet tall. This is the biggest version of this vehicle ever created, and the closest to scale we have ever come with an AT-AT. Awesome. Freaking awesome. Just like that giant Millennium Falcon, I have nowhere to put this thing, but it's so awesome that it's this big. I love it. Now, the style and the design is absolutely perfect. I mean, this is just what you would expect your ad at to look like. Looks just like it does in the films. Now, just like with a lot of the vehicles from Hasbro, it does seem to have kind of a dull gray paint job. Now, there are some details on there. You can see you got a little bit of the, the, the runs going on, and a little scuff marks, stuff like that, but not a whole lot of it. For the most part, it's just the same shade of gray all the way through. So, honestly, Paint job wise, it probably could be a little bit more detailed. So maybe that's one of the few dings I'm gonna put against this thing. A Little bit of a more detailed paint job would have made this thing stand out even more than it already does. But that's okay, because there's so many other cool things about it that you can't really get too upset about that paint job. Now the vehicle itself is pretty well articulated. It does not walk by itself, but you know, you've got the option of moving the legs they are very tight and they click so that way they lock in place so you don't have to worry about them falling over just by standing up but the legs do articulate at the knee joints forwards and backwards and all the legs move up and down um, so you've got the option to do that that way you can pose them however you want to stand them up in your room or in your your display and he balances very well very well there's no issues with him standing up on his own he's not top heavy anywhere he is weighted perfectly so excellent work in the design all the way around i really really love it now one of the few things on here again that might i don't know exactly if this is going to be a bad thing or not the neck piece here is actually made of a rubber it's a rubber material that coats the joints on the inside of the neck now the reason for this is because there is actually a mechanism that moves the head around uh, which i'll show you more in detail in a bit so i understand why it is this soft rubbery substance my only fear is that over time that that's going to deteriorate and it's going to rip and it's going to tear and my adat's not going to look as pretty as it once did so that might be one thing I'm not so sure I'm fond of on it. I mean, again, I understand why it's there. Just not sure how well it's going to hold up over time. So let's take a look at some of the awesome features of this thing. Now, first of all, there is a small switch on the underside down here. And if I can find it from where I'm at, we flip this little switch on. And I have no idea where it is. I am on the wrong side of this. So we switch this on because this is going to give us our sound effects. So up here on the top of the vehicle, we have three buttons. And very similar to what we've seen with the Millennium Falcon, by pushing the buttons, each one creates a different sound effect. We got laser blasts. You got the sound of your AT-AT -AT walking. Rebel Snow Speed Squadron approaching on your flank. And even voices and sounds from the film. Excellent stuff right here. Gotta love the sound effects. Alright, so let's start at the front of the vehicle and just work our way back. Now first of all, taking a look at the design of the head up here. 
You've got two blaster turrets on either side. Both can be articulated by moving them, and both of them actually do have a button on the side to fire the missiles. Pew! Pew! They both fire pretty good. Not too hard, but good enough. It's pretty sweet. And as you can see, you've got these two big blasters up in the front, and there's actually a little lever underneath on both sides so that you can actually make them move while they're blasting as, if, as, it, as though they do in the film. You even get some little red lights on there. Get explosions and blaster effects. It's fantastic. I love it. And then you can see up in the front windshield here, it's got a nice red tint to it where it actually does see inside of the cockpit, which is the next place we're going to look. You'll also notice you leave this thing sitting here for a while and you get some, some, some standby sound effects. All right, so opening up the cockpit, this is awesome. Okay, so you got plenty of detail in here. You've got two seats up in the front along with a little control panel. Plenty of room for, you know, your snow troopers and your pilots and your ADAT drivers to sit down inside of. You've even got a little screen monitor here. Nice cool little translucent screen that has some imagery of the, uh, the rebel base on it. And by pushing a button inside... Preparing attack vectors. You got lights, you got more sounds, the little screen Engine lights up. Range to target, 17 decimal 28. Oh, it's so cool. Rebel base located. <gasps> That's it. The rebels are there. And Skywalker is there with them. Even some Vader? Oh, it's amazing. All right, so there's the cockpit. Now, earlier I had talked about the features with the head. This is what's really cool about this. Up on the top here, you push this little button, and we get a little fold-out joystick that even has some guns here on the side. So with this little joystick, you can actually control the movements of the head. We can go up and down, and we can even go side to side. And the movements are actually very realistic to how it would move in the film, and it moves really well. And with the joystick being right up here by the buttons, you can even hit the buttons. So you can get the blaster lights going off on the front at the same time, making the noises, lighting up red. Oh, excellent. See now, this is what I was talking about with why we have the rubber neck to begin with, because this would not work as well without that rubber neck. And I do really love this action feature, so I think I can live with it. I am so freaking cool. Faux show. All right. Moving on to the side of the AT-ATs. Now, all through this thing, you've got cool little flaps and doors that just open up. And one of the big ones is going to be on the side here, where it actually opens on both ends. Hello! Now, the fun thing about this is it is nice and well designed on the inside here. You can actually see that there's a, a, a little ladder that goes down to, like, you know, a lower part of the, the cockpit there, the ship there. You got some screens and some panels back here, and you got more buttons. Red lights. With little red lights on the inside, as he just yelled. Red lights! Launch speeder bike recon patrol. Speeder bike recon patrol. We'll get to that in a minute and show you exactly what that is. Rebel snow speeder squadron approaching on your flank. Excellent stuff. And this is even cooler right here, so check this out. Now, on both sides we've got this cool little winch device that comes out. And let me grab my little ADAT driver here so I can show you exactly how this works. But this is, or this answers the question of, how do those guys get inside of the ADAT? So you got the cool little winch device that the people stand on. Oh, just lowers them right down. And you can rise them back up. Very easy with a little wine thing. Or, you know, maybe you can even use this to recreate the scene with Luke Skywalker breaking into the ad at anything like that. So very, very cool stuff. And even by pushing the button, automatic lower. So that's actually a really cool little tool. Winding it back up is, you know, takes a little bit of work and everything. But, you know, then you can fold it back up. And you're good to go. So very, very cool stuff there. Now, the last fun little feature on the back is on the back hatch here. All right, so the back hatch here. You can actually open this part up as well. 
and by hitting your little button on the back, the ad at poops out a speeder bike. How cool is that? Complete with sound effects, of course. So you've got yourself a nice little white snow colored speeder bike that comes right off the back and we're ready to go. Now, of course, this isn't something we actually saw happening in the films, but it is really cool to add this extra little feature in there. And it's an awesome use of the space and gives us even more awesome accessories to go with the Adat Walker here. And when you're all done with him, he just sits right back there on the top. Um, something like that. So when you're all set, he sits back on the top, slides in, close the back, and we're ready to roll. There you have it. The giant, enormous at at Walker. Honestly, this really is one of the coolest and most fun toys I've gotten, well, since the big Millennium Falcon that came out the year before it. It is a little pricey. It usually ranges about $100 or so in the stores, and they're getting to the point now where they're not as easy to find, especially since Christmas is over. But if any of you out there are huge Star Wars fans, any of you out there are collectors of the brand, and just really, really liked some of the big vehicles and toys that have come out, I cannot recommend this one enough to you. This is just so much fun. Even if you're a kid, I could imagine having so much fun with this thing if I was a kid, just playing with this thing for hours. So kids will love this. Collectors will love it and appreciate it for all the, the little features and the sound effects and the scale. I mean, overall, this is just a must-have for all Star Wars fans. Until next time, guys. Thank you.